And earlier I spoke to Foxtel CEO Kim Williams. Kim Williams, welcome to the programme. Thanks, Tiki. Now, why was this watershed deal announced today? Well, because we were able to deliver an offer to Ostar's board last night. And um, Ostar was having its annual general meeting today and therefore was able to have a board meeting prior to the annual general meeting and then um, put the matter as an item which will be dealt with in the coming weeks um, by the Ostar board to the AGM. I'm wondering, was the high Aussie dollar the catalyst for you to make an offer that was acceptable to both Telstra and, and also Ostar's major shareholder, Liberty Global? Well, you, you, you'd have to ask Liberty Global as to, as to its view on the, on the currency and, and currency rates. What we have offered is what we see as being a good, full and fair price um, for an asset which we believe merges perfectly with, with Foxtel's business and delivers synergies which will enable us to continue to invest and innovate in the service of Australian consumers. And you, you presume you're pumping out a lot of the same uh, programming. Uh, will you get a lot of synergies from, from that? Indeed, that's true. Now, Foxtel subscriber base has hovered around, I think, the one and a half million mark for some time now. Is this bid an admission that you're still struggling to get customers on board? Um, Fox, Foxtel's not struggling. We've certainly had sluggish growth over the course of the last 18 months, and that's been a reflection of a number of things. Um, one has been the very strong onslaught that has come from Freeview with the expansion of the free services that are available to 16. Um, on the other hand, it's come from something which is pronounced throughout the Australian economy presently, which is a marked tendency on the part of Australian consumers to caution. Australians are saving more, they're paying down debt, and they're buying less. You've got to get through the regulator, of course. What about the ACCC? You don't actually overlap much in, in market terms, but you will be the big gorilla of pay TV, won't you? Well, we'll certainly be a, a well-fit and proper competitor in the Australian market. Um, we obviously have a very substantial um, competitive opposition from Free TV, which is um, the beneficiary of huge largesse and regulatory support from government and direct subsidy from government. Um, we don't have any of those things, but we don't compete with Ausstar for the acquisition of customers other than on a small overlap on the Gold Coast. Uh, we don't compete with Ausstar for the acquisition of content, and Ausstar has exited the telecommunications markets with the sale of its spectrum to the National Broadband Network late last year. So I, I would expect that on the market review it would be difficult to establish that this resulted in any kind of significant lessening of competition. Now at today's Ostar AGM there were plans to return $800 million to shareholders. If the takeover goes ahead, uh, I presume you're going to get hold of that cash because that will just lower the, uh, the bid price for you. I think that was made very clear at the, um, at the AGM that that motion, which was also passed, I might say, at the AGM last year, um, was subject to the board making a determination as to whether this transaction would complete or not. So, so the answer is yes? The answer is the cash would stay in the company and we would acquire the company, yes. A big winner out of all of this could be Telstra. Presumably they will be able to bundle their voice data and pay TV nationally despite the agreement that you have at the moment with Optus? Um, we, we provide our services to a variety of different providers. Um, Microsoft um, take on the Xbox, Foxtel by Xbox. We provide to Telstra for its subscription television product and also for um, Foxtel by T-Box, which will be launched uh, later this year. And, of course, we independently have contracts with Optus for the provision of all of their content on their cable network. Finally, how will the deal that you struck with the AFL last month for 2012 through 2016 change things if combined with this takeover? Well, we, we, we entered into the AFL deal uh, in full transparency and partnership with our colleagues at Ozstar. Um, Foxtel was the acquirer of the subscription television rights, but we have a back-to-back -back agreement with our colleagues at Ozstar. I think the results will be the same under the merged company, should it eventuate. Uh, it will lead to better growth. Uh, and will lead to a substantial improvement in our product offering to Australians who will, for the first time, be able to see every team, every week, live and uninterrupted siren to siren. Kim Williams, lots of negotiations behind closed doors, I'm sure, but you sound very happy today. Thank you for joining us.